one thing that President Obama was joking about is uh, he brought out an anger translator so that he could speak in the normal level-headed way that he does and then uh, Key from Key and Peele from Comedy Central would translate what he actually meant and there is actually controversy over this with some people online saying that this is him revealing how angry and arrogant he actually is on the inside every single day. Uh, this is from Byron York uh, and John Hinraker saying, Now in his second term, Obama is finally free to air his resentments. This year's event was perhaps notable because it exposed our president's bitterness as he approached the end of his term. Humor is often revealing. So we're going to show you a couple sec uh, sections of this anger translator here, and you tell, you be the judge, is he actually revealing how arrogant he is, or are these conservative commenters up their own ass? So here is the first. I invited Luther, my anger translator, to join me here tonight. Because despite our differences, we count on the press to shed light on the most important issues of the day. And we can count on Fox News to terrify old white people with some nonsense! <laughs> Sharia law is coming to Cleveland, run for the damn hills! That was ridiculous! We won't always see eye to eye. Oh, and CNN, thank you so much for the wall-to-wall -wall Ebola coverage. For two whole weeks, we were one step away from the walking dead. And then y'all got up and just moved on to the next thing. That was awesome. Oh, and by the way, just if you haven't noticed, you don't have Ebola! But I still deeply appreciate the work that you do. Wow, I, I love, we bring up constantly Ebola. Like, has a president ever gotten, I mean, granted, look, he only deserves a very small portion of the, the, the acclaim, I guess, for the fact that nobody here has Ebola, nobody got it in America and then died from it. CDC, the scientists, the, the local first responders, they, they deserve most of the credit. But if Bush had been in office and nobody had died from Ebola, they definitely would have heaped praise Oh, him. big credit for and him so, doing the things you're supposed to. And he would have put a no fly in from the Western mm, Africa. Nobody yeah. can fly in. That mm -hmm. was what saved us from Ebola. Probably. They would say stuff like that. They would definitely. Uh, so no credit for that. Uh, he moves on in this next clip. He's going to talk about one of our favorite topics, uh, money and politics. Protecting our democracy is more important than ever. For example, the Supreme Court ruled that the donor who gave Ted Cruz $6 million was just exercising free speech. Yeah, it's the kind of speech like this. I just wasted $6 million. <laughs> And it's not just Republicans. Hillary will have to raise huge sums of money, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she gonna get that money. She gonna get all the money. Khaleesi is coming to Westeros. If That's a funny sketch. That's pretty good. Man, that yeah. is top-notch Do funny. you watch Canfield? No. Actually, I actually don't. I, I heard, don't watch I anything. amazing, though. Um, is, I'll watch it now after seeing him, how funny he is. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I really want to be on this fucking... The correspondence, correspondence dinner? Really, if uh, you hosted it, do you think that you would make it until the end before you were kicked off? No. No? You'd, you'd be kicked off faster than Stephen Colbert. Yes. No second. Well, no I don't second think before. he got kicked off, but they would definitely, it would be what... Well, they wouldn't let him come back. And that was one of the best. That was one of the best White House correspondents. He was dinners. fantastic. Now, I don't know if I could be as funny as Stephen Colbert, but I definitely would... Uh, Try to be as truthful as he yeah. was. Yeah, okay, uh, we have one more on climate change. Let's watch. Every serious scientist says we need to act. The Pentagon says it's a national security risk. Miami floods on a sunny day, and instead of doing anything about it, we've got elected officials throwing snowballs in the Senate. Okay, okay, Mr. It's a, okay I, I, I think I got it, bro. I, it is crazy. <laughs> Our kids. Okay. What kind of stupid, short-sighted, irresponsible bull? Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Hey! What? what? Okay, no, hey! What? Okay, all, all, all due respect, sir. You don't need an anger translator. You need counsel. <laughs> So, the, obviously that's great. The, the thing that depresses me slightly is the reason that we pay so much attention to it, the reason that, that so many people around the country watch it and love watching these clips and they share them online and everything for the White House Correspondents' Dinner is they so desperately want the politicians to be real. And the only time they feel comfortable being real is at this one comedy event. 
But why can't he speak as frankly as he did there? I mean, he apparently agrees with these ideas, at least in principle. If, he's actually, if he actually believes it, why not speak to the people as an actual person? John, as opposed to through 10 different filters of PR and, and ad men and all that. John, you got me. I, I always, you know, every time a, poli- or a person who's not a politician gets into politics, that's what they say they like about him, mm-hmm. is that they don't speak like a politician. He speaks like a regular person, and then as soon as they get going, they're like, they start to speak like a politician. It doesn't last long, yeah.